guys and welcome back to the show so in today's video we're going to learn about how to animate forms using react spring so imagine you have a sign up page when you go on the sign up page you have something similar to this and it looks cool we'll be using react spring so if you don't know what react spring is react spring is a library for react to make react animations but it is a bit complicated the api is really complicated and you really need to dig deep to understand what is going on i want to make a series on it and explain using simple terms what each of the apis are doing but that depends on how well this video goes and the response on the reactions i get so make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure to share it comment down below show me that you guys like these videos and um I'll continue to make more of that and show you how React Spring works. So let's go in and let me show you how to make this using React Spring. And before I even go further, I just want you guys to know that I've already made something on React Spring over here. If you haven't watched it, you can go on and have a look at it and just learn about the basics of React Spring before you watch this video. All right, so let's get started. So what have I got over here? I've got components directory. Instead of the components directory, I've got a login form which contains nothing. I've got a message directory which contains some JSX. And basically the message component is this. It's what you see over here. That is the message component. Then I've created a sign up form component which is basically the form then i've got pages which is the sign up page and it contains some css or scss or sats whatever you want to call it so that's that's basically it i haven't done anything to it again if you would like to know or learn how to structure react applications like a pro i've got a video there's a link in the description you can watch that video and learn how to structure react application um in today's video we're going to cover how to use U spring now let me go to the components the use spring api as we can see on the react spring documentation so this is the react spring documentation they've got use spring which is used to move something from one position to the other that's all the use spring api does i will be doing a tutorial to cover how to use use springs how to use use trails how to use use transitions and how to use use chain i'll try my best to make you understand what is going on but again it depends on how well this video does and you know because it takes a lot of time to make these kind of videos um but let's see how it goes so we're going to cover how to use use spring and basically use that to animate the form from one position to the other the first thing you need to do when working with react spring is basically to install react spring so if you're using npm you can use npm install react spring if you're using yarn you can do yarn add react spring to get the installation done and how you do the installation is by going into your terminal so you go into your terminal where you've got your package.json inside of your application you type in npm install react spring like so or yarn add react spring now that that is out of the way you can now go into the application where you want to or the component that you want to animate in this tutorial i wanted to animate my form component right so i went into the form component as you can see over here then i imported use spring and animated from react spring so the use spring is basically the api that tells react spring where you want to where where you want your animation to start from and where you want it to end that's where you can see that i've got a from and basically this is a two so the use spring takes in an object okay it takes in a javascript object and then you define the from which is where you want your animation to start from and then two where you want your animation to end so over here i'm saying that i want it to start from opacity of zero and then transform translate from minus 4000 pixels and this is the x direction and this is the y direction but i'm not doing anything in the y direction and then what i want you to end where i want the animation to end is i want the animation to end with an opacity of one and a transform translate of 40 pixels in the x direction and in zero pixels in the y direction that is basically what the use spring does so it is what is telling react that i want you to move from this to that 
I want you to move from A to B. I want you to move from an opacity of zero and transform, translate in the X direction, Y direction, whatever you want from minus 4,000 pixels to 40 pixels. That's why it moves from outside of the DOM, inside of the DOM. Okay, and it ends with an opacity of one. That's all the U spring does. And what the animated is doing is that React needs a way to understand how to handle U spring. React doesn't know the U spring hook. It doesn't know what that is. So the animated is there to tell React that, okay, this is how I want you to handle the style that I'm passing to you. Because in the end, you need to pass this over here. Props, I pass it as a style to the form all right so react needs a way to understand how to handle u spring and it does that using the animated i hope this makes sense so recap you declare u spring you tell it i want you to have something from which could be anything and this is how i want you to end okay i want you to start from this and i want you to end in this way you store that in a variable and then you pass it to the element that you want the element that i want to animate is the form react doesn't know what the u spring hook api is so in order to handle this animation you say animated dot form it means i've animated this form like so like i've done animated dot form so basically the component or the element that you pass the u spring to that is the element that you need to use the animated on okay had i used this style on the input element, I would have added over here, animated dots. Okay. Had I done something like this, I would have done it like that. So the animated will go on the component or the element that you're using the U spring on. So that is it. That's all you need to know about U spring. It is used to move one item from one position to the other. And the result of this is what you see over here. So I promised I was going to show you how to use the Y direction. So for instance, you see how things work right now. So imagine I wanted this to move slightly different in the Y direction. I could do something similar. So I could say something like translate, um, let's say minus a hundred. I forgot to add pixels to it. It doesn't move straight anymore. It moves a bit different. It moves up and all the way down. I could make this even more dramatic by doing as you can see, this is the result. So that is basically how the use spring works. You can basically do a whole lot of things with the use spring just as it is. And if this thing goes well, we're going to look at the use transition, use trails, and all the APIs that come with React Spring. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.